after the 70.3 last year, was it really important to come back and do the fall and get to the finish line of the fall? Absolutely. Uh, I feel like I uh, needed to redeem myself. I keep getting dubbed uh, four-time Ironman champion, and you know, last year was only a half, so. Now we can officially say four time. I'll feel a little bit better about that, but it was nice to come back and, and be able to do it in, a, in the full Ironman capacity. So that's why I came back, to do it. Um, you, we've just come off the course, so obviously you're, yeah. you're a little spent. Um, <laughs> and given that, how good Gina's form has been in the last few races as well, and already this year, yeah. how, di how deep did you have to go to, yeah. um, to keep the win? because you were running sure. out in front all day, but how deep did you have to Sure. Um, first of all, Gina is seventh in the world, if not better. She just got seventh at Kona. That is phenomenal. I mean, top 10, seventh, no less. That's, you know, an amazing feat. So to get to race against her was awesome. And I didn't, I felt very controlled that first 30K and, uh, and then it all just started to unfold and unravel. But um, so I, I didn't feel like I was digging too deep until that last, uh, last maybe uh, 10K. And then it was like, uh-oh, you better go, girl, or you are not going to get the W here. <laughs> so then I dug deep. Uh, oddly, I felt better in the race than I do at the moment. <laughs> so better now than in the race, so that's good. <laughs> So, so what do you take from that as a part B to that? I know it's very, very fresh, the victory, like 12 minutes. Yeah. Um, but what, again, what do, you, what do you take from that, you know, from, from an, an effort like that? I mean, I take away, you know, we're both, which we can probably not even think about right now, doing Melbourne in three weeks. <laughs> so it's an awesome warm-up for us, I feel. We are now warmed up, and Caroline, you are going down. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Uh, we, we're all warmed up, ready to go. You know, if anything, for both of us, it was a great confidence builder and that our form's here this early in the season, that we can hopefully uh, parlay this race into an even better Melbourne. A smaller women's field, mm -hmm. um, how does that play in, in terms of racing? How does it affect your racing? Just Is it harder for you to make pace or do you feel that there's a little bit less to watch? Uh, you know what, less to watch, but when you have Gina chasing you all day, it doesn't, you know, th that was, it, it felt like, I mean, she counts for like 10 people <laughs> or 20. So I felt, you know, this field had nine people. There were some punches in there. And I, I mean, I knew it was going to be between the two of us who, who would uh, be able to give each other a good fight. And we did. And, and uh, yeah, it's just, um, you know, it was a, it was a lot of new uh, stuff for me, uh, new new wetsuit, new bike. Um, this was my maiden voyage on the bike, so I wasn't, uh, I was a little, um, it's a great bike, I just, you know, we just got it all dialed, and it's been, a, it's been quite a week getting it dialed, <laughs> and so I wasn't sure how, how the bike quite would unfold, and um, like I said, I saw you at Gosh, at the turnaround, and you looked so strong. I was like, I was so impressed, as I always am. And uh, I just think that I'm sounding delirious right now. A one and B two. Um, I was just grateful to be healthy, and life is good. Just ignore me. I've just done ten, maybe twenty tequila shots. <laughs>